On to our GMA cover story, more of my one-on-one -on -one interview with New York Governor Andrew Cuomo, who has spent the past 100 days in front of the cameras leading New Yorkers through this coronavirus pandemic, becoming even more of a national figure. And we talked about when he sees things starting to return to normal. Big question for a lot of parents, present party included. Will New York schools be open in the fall? I don't know. And I don't think that anybody knows. And anybody who tells you what's going to happen in September, I wouldn't believe them. <laughs> <laughs> what about mass transit? Because that's a big question. We're hearing social distancing, six feet. That's nearly impossible on New York City subways, buses, trains. Mass transit, first of all, is cleaner than it has ever been. It is amazing. It is amazing to me. As a lifelong born and bred New Yorker, we now disinfect subway cars. I mean, there was a time we couldn't get uh, old newspapers uh, and people off the trains. Now we literally disinfect every subway car every day, train stations disinfected, hand sanitizer, uh, everybody's wearing masks. So the public transit has never stopped. It's cleaner than it's ever been, and uh, people are behaving incredibly well. Uh, uh, right across the board. I know you are looking to the future. Do you have an idea of what you think or where we might be a hundred days from now? If we keep the transmission rate as low as it is in New York, the next 100 days look great. However, this situation, there are all these possibilities. If the virus continues in the rest of the country, People will, will get on a plane and will come here and they could increase that spread. If there is a second wave or in the fall, if there is a second wave, it can get worse. But right now, we are in a, uh, as good a position as you can be in. This is as serious a topic as you might imagine, yet there's been some levity in some of the praise you've received. I know that you've been portrayed as some sort of a homecoming king of this crisis and a headline from Jezebel Help, I think I'm in love with Andrew Cuomo. The New York Post dubbed you the new love gov. Chelsea Handler wrote you a love letter essay in Vogue entitled Dear Andrew Cuomo, I want to be your first lady. Your reaction to all of that, your daughter's reaction to all of that? Well, my daughters dismiss it all, right? Because they they just dismiss it all. Uh, look, it's 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 nice but uh, it is what it is. Uh, you know, I've been, I've been around long enough to take everything with a grain of salt. You take the positive with a grain of salt. You take the negative with a grain of salt. But to the extent people uh, have relied on me through this, uh, that I'm very grateful for because they, they needed to rely on government here. But these are waters that uh, we've never been in before, personally or collectively. When are you gonna hug your mom again? I haven't hugged my mom since this started. I miss that. I don't think she misses it, but I miss it. The governor turning for inspiration during these trying times to his late father, former governor Mario Cuomo. My father's spirit lives in me. I know what he would say. I know his advice. I know his principles. And it does live in me. And I can uh, get in touch with that. I can think about that and ask myself, what would he be saying to me right now? What did he say? He said, take responsibility. Don't run from it. Be accountable. Stand up. Say to people in this state, you elected me. This is my job. Whatever happens, I'm responsible. He said, tell the people the truth. Tell them the truth and trust them that with the truth, they will do the right thing. And that's what I did. And he is certainly hoping, hoping that New Yorkers continue to do the right thing. You know, we talked about some of the scenes that have happened here in Manhattan where people are getting close together, whether mm -hmm. it be protests yeah. or people being out. And he said, we have to all continue that social distancing and wearing those masks regardless of the situation. And he said human nature is one of his biggest concerns. People have been locked up for months and they're coming outside for the first time. Yeah, we were the worst, now we're the best. Yeah. And we don't want to go back. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here. 
to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.